Hi, you're watching Floyd Steinberg's YouTube channel and some weeks ago I made a video on how to use your Raspberry Pi as a guitar effects pedal or effects pedal for your synth uh, using the standard Raspbian distribution of Linux. But um, yeah, maybe there are better options around. For example, let's have a look today at uh, the Patchbox OS with an emulator called ModeP or ModeP, I don't know. It's uh, some kind of multi-effect pedal for, yeah, for the Raspberry Pi and it's got an awesome user interface. Yeah, let's check this out. Here we go. Installing the operating system is fairly easy. Download the latest image, then use a program called USB It to copy the image to an SD card. Insert that card directly into your Raspberry Pi. Connect all your MIDI and audio devices, connect the mouse and keyboard and the monitor to your Pi, and then switch it on. The Pi will boot right to the desktop, where you can start the setup tool as shown in this video. The setup tool will guide you through security and networking configuration and will also ask which audio hardware to use and which plugin to install. For this example, select the ModeP or ModeP plugin, which is a graphical user interface which runs in your web browser. After the setup is done, you can open the web browser on your PC or any local device and type in the address patchbox.local and start creating patches from a selection of over 300 effects plugins. Okay, we got this thing running, now let's check how it sounds. I first use a guitar and then I use a synth. And um, I compare it to this cheap Zoom stomp box later. And in order to have a fair comparison, I will first record uh, the guitar on my uh, Zoom R24 and then create a sample from that and use that sample to play it back through the effects section of the Raspberry Pi. Um, because um, it might be that my uh, cheap USB audio interface, uh, which works with the Pi, has a very bad audio input. <laughs> Okay, we've got a clean guitar sample. Now I can just connect the sample player to the first device in the effects chain using QJack CTL. You can also connect your guitar directly, of course, but as I said, for fair comparison's sake, I won't do that because my USB audio interface might be subpar. So let's use a typical setup here. Guitar goes into a compressor, goes into an amp, goes into chorus, delay and reverb. And on both the Pi and the Zoom, I tweak the settings a little bit to get slightly better results. And here's the same thing with my favorite soft synth on Linux, Synth V1. This app runs way better on Patchbox OS than on Raspbian. The number of X-Run errors is significantly lower. 
Here I apply a shimmer reverb and a steroid delay, and I did the same thing on the zoom stomp box afterwards. So that was a short comparison between the Raspberry Pi running a specialized operating system and the cheap stomp box by Zoom for effect pedals. And yeah, what can I say? I have an opinion on both of these and uh, stating opinions on the internet is a dangerous thing to do. So I'll spare myself that and uh, maybe if you want to state your opinion you could use the comments down below. And as always, thanks for watching and see you next week. And well, uh, by the way, here's the guitar track you heard at the beginning, um, the full version of it. And as always, thanks for watching. See you next week. Bye bye.